Hey Rachel, I'm running out of my games. I have a Lego installed, but I'm having some problems. What are you having trouble with? I want to make a file that has a function that draws my games. Okay, what is your class's name? I haven't made the head yet. I tried to, but I get a lot of errors, so I got confused. Well, what are you going to name your class? Draw? That's more of a function name. Functions tend to be verbs, and classes tend to be nouns. Draw is a verb. So, drawing class then? No, it'd be something more like a player class with a draw function. Ah, class drawing then. This is just a guess, but I think that you may need to review more of your C++ before you can make games. No, I understand C++. I just can't make a new file. Well, uh, go read up on some object-oriented programming. I understand object-oriented programming. I can make functions. I always tell people in my guides to understand the basics of C++ before tackling a library like Allegro, SDL, SFML, or OpenGL. Usually I will include a list of topics. Most people will follow it, but a lot of people still try to jump in without any C++ or programming experience. It's really hard to tell what you do or don't understand just from reading a list. So I've come up with a bunch of little test programs that you can write in order to see if you have an adequate knowledge of C++. These tests are also good for Java and C Sharp, too, though the last part deals with pointers and references. Think of these videos as a prequel series, before my Beginner's Guide reboot. I have a series of test questions written out on Musader.com, and I'm also going to post up videos corresponding to each test section. These videos will have a description of the specs for each test, as well as me running a sample version of what I'm hoping for. It'd be best to have the test page open rather than these videos while you're working on them, so you have a better view of your specs. You can find it by going to Musator.com, click Resources, go to Tutorials, and select Game Programming Prerequisites Tests. You can submit your code directly to me via email, or post it in the message board for critiquing for more people. Either way, zip, paste bin, or upload your code to a repo and link us to it. A lot of these tests are just seeing if you can complete it. Completing it means you are able to think through the design, implement it, and debug it properly. We will also look at the quality of your code based on the category it belongs in. This mainly applies to the last few sections of tests, and whether it looks like you really have a grounding in what you're doing, with classes and functions, or you're haphazardly coding something together that you don't fully understand. Lastly, if you need help, feel free to email me, ask the IRC channel, or post on the message board. Even if you're not really familiar with C++, we're still up for helping and would be happy to have you in the community. Nobody is born knowing C++. It's just something learned over time. Being patient, being able to read, and being willing to learn are some of the most valuable skills you can have. Ah yes, and even though other people's code, including mine, will be up on the forums, even if you cheat, it's still very painfully obvious if someone has no idea what they're talking about regarding programming. There's nothing you can get out of copying someone else's code here.